Hello everyone! I am your commentator Marshall and we are now getting into Season 2 of Cross Terrain Clash. After the qualifiers, we now have our final roster of 20 marbles going into the A-League from Pandora. 2 Decibel. With the, all these 20 marbles, it'll, it'll most definitely be a toss-up of who will be the one to win this entire tournament. Now let's get into our first test run of many in this season. With our individual test marbles, except for Lipstick Line and Sally, Lipstick Line did decide to retire from being a test marble, and so we, so Pharmacist from the Sandra Valley has filled in their place. Now, anyways, into, some, into the track info, we're now in Fall Festival by the one and only Autumn, who actually auto qualified for this season as they got second in the in the B League. This track is estimated to be around two minutes long. You'll expect. And the special obstacles in this track are the mud patches, leaf piles, and the covering trees. As currently now, we're, we're, we're currently spectating Pharmacist, our new marble. We saw, the, the, we now see those covering trees. Now those will be those will block our view of the marble. So, and th we have another piece at the leaf piles. Marbles can maybe, if they gain enough speed, can get stuck in the leaf piles. So that that could be disastrous for them. Pharmacist getting, getting a lot of speed right now. Going into the next section and the mud piles. If you do go into those mud patches, those will slow down your momentum a lot. So it is crucial for a marble strategy to avoid them at all costs. Going to the umbrella dance and going to the front section of the course, and they did get stuck on the leaf piles. This section is hectic and that is intended. And marbles can make great comebacks and sock puppets. I was just saying, marbles can make great comebacks in that final section. So this race almost really has some exciting moments. We're not getting into our first race of 10 in the A-League. Our mom was prepared to go off the course. And there, there they go for the first time this season. Well, currently now Prism and Autumn in the lead. Our first host now in the front, but they lose it. Bergville and River overtake them for second and for first and second. Here comes Prism Nebula. They take the lead. They had a very dominant performance in the qualifiers, but they lose out to Snow Angel. Mom who barely qualified. But they're now in the lead. Cardinal second. Ever go for Ever go for Chris Nebula. Right by Autumn up there now. There's a lot of marbles in the red side of that split. Snow Angel doing nothing but keeping their composure and smashing their lead. Musical wave. Right by Disable. Autumn trying to catch up to them. Getting a lot of speed now. Snow Angel doing nothing but stretching it. But so is Musical wave with a bad move. They fall down to fifth from second. Here comes Autumn. A piss off with a good move. They overtake Autumn for second. Can they overtake them for the lead now? And they do! It's Snow Angel went from first to fourth in a couple of minutes! We now already have to do the course now. First or Decibel ended by our current podium finishers. But there's, there's, there's another half of the course that we have yet to see. Here comes Pandora, Evergrove, Hot Coco, getting crashes to third. Decibel takes the lead out of nowhere! Decibel now in the lead. They barely qualified ahead of Flower Eye. And will they make the most of this opportunity? You know, stretching it. A person trying to catch up with the wave. Holding up a storm of marbles in third place. Going into the covering tree section, they lose all speed to the mud patches and bit sir. It makes this opportunity to catch up, but Cardinal trying to hold up Snow Angel, whimsical wave. Pandora, Snow Angel, even more marble at the back for third. And then feed the next Rose Gold Tablet Push and Thunderbird. We have not seen any of the marbles in the front, and they have the next. Going into the final section of the corner, Decibel, can they hold on? Stretching it. They do hold on to the win. First or put on the second, yes they will, and Whimsical will round out the podium, a pen drops up the giant bomb move, he will get fifth. But, Whimsical Wave, Snow Angel, Pandora, Cardinal, Snebula, and Evergrove will be the ones to hold on to the top eight of this race. Oh, there's Rose Gold, there's the three DNF marbles, they all got in each other's way and none of them could go through that section and all three of them will be taking zero points for this race. All the marbles started off very extremely close together. Autumn Risk was in the to win their home track. They would have been amazing. But sadly they just could not hold on. There was a very chaotic start to the course. Musical Wave notably had a not so good start but managed to recover all the way up to the top three which is a very extremely impressive from them. My bro did choke the lead though. Snow Angel also was in the lead here most, most for a lot of the race, but they just could not hold on. Oh, look at that horrible white whimsical wave. They just shot up into the air. Look at that, that section with the mud patch. did do a lot of. It did make a lot of interesting changes to the order. As Decibel d did manage to win this entire race with Abyssar barely holding on.
Well, not barely, but still. This, this, those deep positive make for a lot of chaos, including Pandora shooting down the track. But congrats to our three point defenders for this first race Whimsical Wave, Abyss Orb, and most importantly, Two Decibel, our first race winner of the season. Now for the stand, now for the rally results. Of course, nothing had not much has changed. With Disable, Abyss Orb, Whimsical Wave, Snow Angel, Pandora, Cardinal. Nebula, Evergrove, Autumn, and Red Bell getting our getting top half finishes in their first showing. It's not a very good start for Rose Gold, Time and Twister, and Thunderbird. First of our qualifiers winner and our reigning second place marble. Of course, the standings do shake out the same as the rally results, as we're still in the first of many races for this season. But will this will be able to hold on to first for the rest of the season? And will Rose Gold, Time and Twister, and Thunderbird make comebacks to rise back up the order? Now we will see you in race number two in Boven Pasture, hosted by Ribeye, one of our qualified marbles. Hope, hope you enjoyed this race, and see you next time.